all the treasures. That's literally what it says. I made sure because I thought, well, maybe that's flowery. Maybe that's our English trying to make it sound real pretty. The Greek literally says all the treasures. All the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in Christ. All is a big word. Right? All is, now some of us use all, and we don't really mean all, we mean a lot. Scripture means what it says. And so when it says all, it means everything that can be called wisdom is in Christ. It means all knowledge that is actually knowledge, meaning that matters, that is true, that is just, that is transformational, that is eternal. It is hidden in Christ. But hear me in this. It doesn't say that Christ is hiding wisdom and knowledge, but that God has hidden wisdom and knowledge in Christ. So God, Jesus isn't saying, I'm keeping it from you. God's saying, I've shown you where to find it. It's all in Jesus. So we don't have to go from place to place for a, for a word from the Lord. We don't have to go to the school of the prophets. We don't have to go find this and find that. It's all found in Jesus. God said, I'm putting it all in him, all in one place. When you give yourself to him, he will give himself to you, and you'll have all the treasures. Why are we still digging in places where the treasure isn't found instead of dwelling in the one where all the treasure has been buried? This is a call to search Him. It's a call to know Him, to study Him, to sit with Him and love Him, to mine the depths of Him. Because as Peter wrote, in Him is everything needed for life and godliness. Guys, we have been given everything we need because we have been given Jesus. If I could encourage you in anything, it would be this. Don't go outside of Jesus. Don't go beyond Him. Don't try to go around Him. Go to Him. Go with Him. Be found in Him just as richly as He has been found in us. Because all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge dwell in 